Oh, I'm gonna go over here and show you my friend Kurt's buggy. He's got these big 30 inch tall tires on the front and uh, he's got his uh, seats all stuck. This buggy's really old. He's had this thing for years and years and years and more years. We finally put some travel stops on here. There you go. And you get them big wide paddles and that's a that's a trailer load, that's for sure. That looks like a snowmobile trailer. It sits kind of high. Taking off here for the oil to his uh, turbo. This is a Subaru turbo. I used one with a wastegate. Good for seven pounds of boost. Man, this thing was running cool today too. Uh, 169 where mine was 200 because I didn't have third gear and I tried to keep up with everybody so I just running the snot out of it. Yeah, same kind of tin I was came on my car, oil cooler. I was trying to do that, but I got an extra pipe, and it just got too busy. My pipes were a little bit wider, and this is all kind of tucked in pretty nice. Works pretty good for him. Ah, he's got an Odyssey battery as well. I did not know that. Wonder when he switched to that. Huh. They work great, save you a lot of weight, compact. See, those seats sit too low for me. Sit too laid back. I gotta have mine sit up more. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, got his, his tarps. That's why I like an expanded metal floor, too. You can just hook these bungee cords any old place. Stock uh, Volkswagen Master Cylinder. Uh, stock. Uh, pedal operating system with the cable. See what we were talking about? Some of the some of the features that we were looking at on my other car. He's got the uh, tie rod head protected uh, so it don't rattle against the frame there and you can see where it's been rubbing. Got his little uh, <laughs> LED lights there in the front. This is what I wanted to do, reinforce my shock tower. I see how he was doing this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I see. Pretty cool. It works. It ain't the uh, prettiest car in the sand by some regards, but it's reliable and wheelie's good and Kurt has a lot of fun in it. Been, been welded and repaired so many times. So many cracks everywhere. You get it thin, the wells start cracking. Yep. Mm, Got to have a different type of uh, fuel pump for the uh, turbo setup. Man. <laughs> Got his fuel shut off down there. Filters all over. Goodness gracious. I think those are 40 Delordos. Oh. Ah. Got one of those uh, oil breathers like I was trying to hook up. I see how he did his a little different. Yeah, it's tucked down in a rollover situation. It won't. Uh, won't come apart, that's good. Okay. Interesting. Yep, and there's a lot of stuff that he did that I copied. Now he's, instead of using the rubber boots, he's using the vinyl boots and they look like they're not leaking whenever he's got oil in his transmission. That's something you always gotta ask yourself when you got oil leaks. 
is that if it's not leaking, is there oil in the tranny? It's got his little pullback shifter from, uh, forget that. They used to put those in the Carmen Gias, and it has a little bit different shift boot. Yep. <laughs> I'm retired. I was, I was tired yesterday, and I'm tired again today. So, he's retired. <laughs> We're back in camp. Do a little walk around of my friend Mark's buggy. Oh wow, power steering. Power steering, rack and pinion, long travel. I didn't know it had power steering. That's pretty cool. Ooh, custom cutter brake handle. Nice. High center of gravity though. My gosh. That's 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 almost me at the bottom of my butt. That scares me. But the cars are wider. Much wider. Interesting. Uh, Doug Bug, I think this is the original concept that you went with on your car, and then you changed it before you even tested it. Uh, but I'm sure you had good reason for doing that, and I don't criticize anybody for what they do. Uh, once you get it out and start testing it, get the hours on it, then you'll know what to do. Man, that big Subaru engine sits high. My goodness. Short back. Well, no, it's got framework down here. Kind of looks like short back. It's got your little trunk area here. Turbo. Radiator. Have to go for a ride and that. Take the camera. Got a little roof. <laughs> nice. Nice looking. Got the suspension seats. That looks like a big uh, comfy ride. Yep. So I didn't have a Tech 3 simply because, you know, Gary and I were good friends, but he was just starting to build them and stuff. And I wanted a smaller car than a Tech 3. Uh, and so, anyway, like, uh, we, ended, we went over there one weekend and he and Ken and his welder and I fabricated on all the stuff we wanted different in the car. Mm -hmm. and now, is this part here my zone? That's my zone. Yeah. yeah. It's in here. Yeah, that's all my zone. Yeah. yeah. The A arms are my zone. <clears throat> now, was, did Gary first start off with just experimenting with injecting Volkswagens before he was building these cars? So I seem to remember when you gave us rides yeah. in that rabbit and also in the green, that was Gary's car, right? Green, green car. car. Yeah. I don't, that was more. Tech three car well, it was, no. I guess one of them was this, but no, this one it, it, that was, uh, uh, it was the yellow was the, car. That was the car I had before this. <laughs> so it wasn't a Mazon. Not this car. It was not a okay. But and his green car was a Tech three car. No, was it? he lived in Canada when I first met him and came down frequently to Oregon Dunes. Okay. And I'm not good at time, but. And then eventually he and Ken Ferger's daughter got hooked up and eventually married her. And uh, uh, he and two other fellows, the three came from three people, uh, oh, okay. decided to make a, a business. Make frames, make a business. Okay. Although Gary never quit, he's an engineer, he never quit his day job. Okay. And uh, uh, he Actually, that blue car, about this color blue, down a rig or two for me, that's a Tech 3 that's from the early years. Uh, and they were a little lighter, they got heavier and more long travel and bigger, bigger motors in them. And, but they're kind of relatively low expense cars. Okay. As I recall back then, he was running Volkswagen with eight injectors. Yeah. And gas, and then he was. Pumping alcohol, I think, when the booze came on. Yeah, that, that I was doing the same thing in mine. Okay. Yeah, I remember that now. Mm -hmm. We had a dual fuel system. Right. So the main time you yeah. you're light and nimble and the ride's good and you know okay. all of that counts because one of these guys that burns so much fuel, it pogos off of every little bump. So oh, yeah, and all this gas goes whoosh. So then the floats <laughs> come up and then. Yeah. Fuel pours in and black smoke comes out and yeah. sometimes he makes it up the hill and sometimes he doesn't. Talk oh, about yeah. rich. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's yeah. already running rich. Um, now we're running flooded. Yeah. My, my other trick is to run super tiny Venturis 
yeah. and I can run the carburetors exactly the way I ran them without a turbo, yeah. with a turbo, and it's, it works. <laughs> Could have had a PA. We're waiting on one more guy, I think. Listen to that wind. The wind is our friend. The wind cleans up all the sand and smooths it out. It makes it real nice for the cars to find. It's a little uh, annoying when it kicks up in your face, but that's all part of it. This is part two, and we'll uh, continue on. Just thought I'd give you some samplings. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy jeezy. Out.